All right, how we doing, Storm Chaser fans? Uh, my name is Andrew. I'm coming to you live on remote. This is not Warner Park. This is uh, not our offices. Uh, we are currently working from home, uh, but that's not going to stop us from connecting with you, the fans, and bringing you some great content that we hope you enjoy moving forward as uh, this is a weird time for everybody. Uh, but we're still looking to interact with you, the fans, so uh, hopefully you're excited about this. But uh, first things first, we just announced our uh, bracket, our March moniker bracket, uh, all the names of uh, Royals, all of our Omaha Storm Chasers names from past and present. Uh, we hope you uh, enjoy some of these as we go down the list. Uh, starting with tomorrow's games, uh, we're talking the number one versus the number eight seed. Num coming in at number one is the Omaha Storm Chasers. They are the reigning champs. They are our current name. Uh, so that's the number one seed. Uh, facing off against the number eight seed, we have the Omahogs. Uh, I am from, I went to the University of Arkansas, so Omahogs are near and dear to me. Uh, so I wouldn't say they're number eight seed, but uh, that's that's who the Storm Chasers opponent is. Uh, going to the 4-5 matchup, we have the Food Fight. We have uh, the Omaha Runzas taking on the Omaha Sizzle. The Runzas, uh, as many of you are familiar with, a Nebraska delicacy, in my opinion. Everybody loves them. Uh, they've been a big hit at our games, and taking on the Omaha Sizzle. Uh, one of my favorite jerseys and hats uh, that you can buy at the team store. Uh, we have a medium rare steak on the hat with the old bolt centering uh, Omaha itself. Uh, so a great food fight matchup there. As we go down the list, uh, we have the number three seed taking on the uh, the number three seed, the Golden Spikes, uh, taking on the Cazadores de Tormentas. Cazadores de Tormentas are Copa de la Diversión Initiative, our alternate ego for that. Roughly translates to Omaha, uh, Storm Hunters. Uh, but it's a way for us to celebrate the Hispanic and Latino culture in baseball, and uh, it's a great nickname of ours. Some great, vibrant jerseys. Uh, the Golden Spikes, as everybody knows, from 99 to 01, uh, may not have been everybody's favorite, but one of our longest-running names. It was only two years, so that's coming in at number three. And then our last game that will take place on Sunday is the Omaha Potholes, a huge hit last year um, might be an upset who knows taking on the number two seed the Omaha Royals uh, probably our longest running name in our franchise history but that's that's our last game on Sunday we'll have two games uh, a day so be sure and log into Twitter and Facebook and vote for your favorites to make sure that they move on to the next round uh, have to play some one shining moment for you all because it is March uh, this is a bracket. I feel it's very appropriate for that. But, uh, again, tomorrow's games are going to be Omaha Storm Chasers versus the Omahogs, uh, and then the Runzas versus Sizzle. Sun, uh, let's see, that's tomorrow's game on Friday. Saturday's games are going to be the Golden Spikes versus the Cazadores de Tormentas and the Potholes versus the Royals. The semifinals will take place on Sunday, the finals on Monday. The results will come in on Tuesday. And hopefully we'll have a new bracket for you on Wednesday. Uh, we're kind of spitballing here, maybe doing some ballpark foods. What's your favorite ballpark food? Maybe a bracket of 16 rather than 8. Uh, we can vote on that the following week. But if you have a suggestion for a bracket, send it our way. We'll take that in consideration and uh, bump it up our list and make a bracket for you for our fans to vote on. A lot of exciting other news as we're working on potentially streaming some MLB The Show games for you, the fans, to tune in, just like regular games on 7.05 p.m., uh, our first opponents, Reno Aces, they're on deck. We're coming for you. Uh, but make sure and tune in on that. We're looking to stream on Twitch and Facebook Live. Uh, so hopefully everybody can see those as we have some fun things planned for that. Uh, we're also going to be putting out some other things, other brackets, other streams as we continue to go on. But if you have any suggestions for us, feel free to hit us up. And uh, we'll be sure to take that into consideration. Uh, also, don't miss our uh, owner, Gary Green. He's going to be on uh, Nick Hanley's show, ESPN 590, right here in three minutes. So be sure and tune in to him. Uh, we've also got some breaking news from the Kansas City Royals 
as they have just optioned Kelvin Gutierrez, Gabe Spire, and Kyle Zimmer to Omaha today. When we get updates on the 2020 season, we'll update you, the fans. Uh, no new updates to this point, but you can always follow along on our website, omahastormchasers.com. Uh, we have just the title there. You can always click on there for any updates. Uh, also, be sure to follow along on OMA Storm Chasers on Twitter and right here on our Facebook page for any updates that might come your way. And don't forget to check out our podcast, Between Two Berms. We're going to be working on some new episodes, some maybe shorter things to pass the time. Uh, Chase Darno dropped uh, yesterday, I think. Uh, don't even know what day it is. This whole quarantining thing is... Uh, really messing with me. But yeah, so Chase Darno, great episode. He's got a great YouTube series. If you're looking for something to do, um, getting a lot of hearts right now. I love it, Scott. Um, but yeah, so check all these things out. We're constantly pumping out content for you guys. We hope you follow along. We hope this is a fun thing uh, for you to participate in. But anyway, uh, hope to see you in the 2020 season. Uh, like I said, we'll always update you and I will see you guys later. Stir up the storm, guys.